Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Fortress Homestead. We made a ton of progress on our Minecraft Hangout live stream the other night, as well as I spent a little bit of time just by myself last night, just relaxing and doing some maintenance stuff. Oh, but we built so, so much stuff because Tuesday was also our Minecraft day live stream. So it was just kind of like all day Minecraft going on. So it was just fantastic. So first and foremost, this giant imposing building here is our new stable. So let's go check it out. I'm so proud of this building. I feel like I'm getting the hang of just making architecture both more interesting as well as functional. So as you can see, we have all these nice little stalls for our different horses and donkeys and such. And the reason why I decided to organize them into stalls like this is because when I had them just in a large paddock, they would just crowd into one corner and I couldn't really see them very well as well as they were just constantly jumping on stuff and the sound was just really horrible. So this way I can see them a lot better. I'm able to actually pick them out individually so that I can ride them anytime that I need to or want to. And it's just so much nicer this way and I feel like they're happier. And I put in all this glass, oh my goodness, we had to harvest so much sand so that we can make all of this wonderful glass. But look at this view, y'all. It's just beautiful and I think my horses like it too. Oh, just absolutely gorgeous. And it was so funny because I put in, everything was cobblestone here, and then I realized, oh, I think my horses need grass. So I had to very carefully dig up the cobblestone and put in dirt, and then I had to cheat in a grass block in each of these stalls and then wait for the grass to spread. So that took a little bit of engineering, but we got it done. And then I made this little hay loft. I still need to collect so, so much hay in order to make more hay bales for decoration. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this space for. I just, I don't know. I liked the idea of having a cute little hay loft. So I built this and we are just so high up. It, this is just so ridiculous how big this building is. I didn't intend for it to be this big, but this is what happened. And then I wanted to put a nice roof on top and I realized that I kind of made this huge attic area, which is where I really should have put the hay loft. But I mean, here we are. We might move the hay up here and then use the downstairs for something else. I'm not really sure yet, but for right now, it's just these two kind of big empty spaces that I don't really know what to do with. It can't hurt. We can always use it for storage or whatever. I'm just happy that we have it built. We have all of our horses in here and comfortable. So this was a huge, huge project. I finished it off last night. The first two layers of the stable were completed on my Tuesday live stream. And then I finished off the hay loft and the roof last night. I actually had to go in create mode to do the roof purely just so that I could fly just because it's so high up and it was so steep and I just didn't want all the frustration of almost falling off to place all of those logs. So I used it just to fly around, but I did spend a ton of time, I think like an hour, just harvesting all of the wood for the roof. So I didn't use create mode in order to get the wood I already had. And I don't know if you saw when we walked past earlier, but we gave Fast Boy some armor and he just looks like the prettiest boy. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he just looks majestic. Oh, he's so cute. And he knows it. He's like, yep, I'm pretty. <laughs> he loves his new armor. He looks so good. So that was the major build that we did recently. Just did a lot of other picky maintenance stuff around the homestead. We have a lot of projects that I want to work on slowly but surely. But for the main part, it's just there's only so many hours in a day. There's only so many hours in my live stream and we do what we can each time. And I think that we've built like a lot of impressive stuff. We Last night I did a harvest on all of my crops. And as you can see, they've already so quickly grown back. It's just crazy how fast my little farm grows. I love it. It's just such an amazing resource. 
And because we have such a large batch of glass still left over, we are going to be doing some improvements to the outside of this wall. As you can see, we finished off putting all the airlocks out, but I do want to make more of these cool pillars in order to decorate the fortress with and just make more interesting architecture around the fortress just so that it doesn't look quite so boxy with just all these massive walls. I do want to make things a bit more decorative and a bit more interesting to look at just because we're getting better at building stuff. And I just am so inspired by the YouTubers that I've been watching and I've been getting a lot of ideas from them. So that is a big thing that we're going to be working on is just improving little bits and pieces of the architecture around the homestead. And then I am so, so proud of this, y'all. I just, I think it is so adorable. Our little barbecue pit area. So this was inspired by a much smaller version that I saw in a village that we explored a while back. That was the first village that we stumbled upon that had villagers alive in it. The one that was just a little bit more modern than our abandoned village, now the village. And so I've, I've been wanting to build this for a while and I finally got around to doing it. Modified the design a bit, made it way bigger than the one that was in the village that we found. And I added these campfires just for decoration because we did figure out how to make charcoal. It's you just smelt wood, wooden logs in the furnace. Seems, you know, rather straightforward. However, sometimes things are not very straightforward in Minecraft. I prefer to look things up rather than stick things in a furnace or whatever and see what happens. I don't want to waste materials. So we figured out how to make that so we can have unlimited campfires, which is so great. So I just think they're so cute. I just love how the smoke comes out of these little holes that we made in the ceiling. I do want to get into making chimneys in the near future. So I'll make a couple of chimneys for here, decorate the fortress homestead a bit with some chimneys. I think that would be such a cute look. I am inspired by a few designs that I saw on Trixie Blocks' channel. So we are going to be doing that in the near future. And this little barbecue area came in handy when we were smelting all that sand. I had all of these furnaces going. And then also the furnaces in our homestead area too were all going all at the same time. So it was a lot of glass, y'all. It was a lot in order to build this monstrosity that I have going on here. I still want to make some improvements to it because it still does look very boxy. And the roof is very like the standard simple slanty roof. I do want to make some improvements to it just to make it a little bit more interesting. But for now, it's completed, which is basically step one, you know, complete the build. It's pretty much what we needed to do. And yeah, so that basically took up all of our time. We did do some small little errands over at the beach house. Nothing that I can really show y'all. I just took all the prismarine and the breathing conduit over there so that we have that ready to go for our underwater explorations, getting more of the prismarine so that we can build the breathing conduit. And of course, we also capped off the night with some fishing on Tuesday, and we were able to name Fast Boy's new friend. We were able to come up with a really, really cute name. We named them Rainy Dream, which I love so, so much. We have so many more horses and foxes and rabbits to name, so... I'm looking for name ideas. Please do leave some ideas in the comments. And of course, please no inappropriate names and no stupid names. We're looking for like cute names and fun names. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what y'all come up with. I'll be reading in the comments to see if there are any names that I really, really like that we might use. So yeah, we just, we have a lot of babies we need to name and we're just gonna slowly make our way through that. And yeah, that's that's what we did the past couple days. Be sure to follow my Twitch channel and tur turn on notifications so that you know when it's time to play. If you like this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.